In this Wolf video, I'm going to show you some practice, practice search examples from ASAP guidelines. I'll show you a simple one, and then I'll also show you a little bit more of a complex one. So the, for the simple one first, don't forget to name your search and to search all patients. Uh, this one is going to be any patients who have not had a blood pressure within the last year. So we're going to select all the patients above the age of 18, and we'll leave that between the ages of 18 and 200. Uh, we we'll also need to go under demographics and select the primary MD, in this case, Dr. McCaffrey. I'm also going to add here under demographics last visit. So this means they have been seen sometime within the last three years. Now in this particular measurement that I'm doing, uh, I'm going to assume for a minute that we are going to look at uh, the patients that would be within the panel. And most physicians consider their panel to be any patient seen within the last three years. So I've just added that one in. And then the last one that you want to put in is under exam findings, and you want to put in uh, systolic. I'm just going to scroll down here. And you want to know anybody who has not had a systolic blood pressure greater than zero, which would be pretty much anything, uh, observed or recorded in the last one year. ASAP gives us a one year guideline. So anybody who has been seen within the last three years, meaning that they're part of the patient panel, but have not had a blood pressure within the last one year. So we would just search that and that's going to give us a number. So we get 28 patients in this instance who have not had a blood pressure done within the last one year. Now, just one or two things to notice about this uh, list as you scroll over to the right, you're going to notice that you've got a red color here. Um, in this particular measure, you're actually looking at anybody who has not had one uh, done within the last year. Whenever you see green, that usually means that they've been somehow managed for that particular measure within the last three months. If you see yellow, then yellow means they've been managed sometime between three months to a year. Anything greater than a year will be red. So it's a nice little visual cue. The other thing you can notice here is that it gives you the last blood pressure of what was recorded on their chart, even though it was done greater than a year ago. And it'll also give you the date of when it was last captured. So something that you can notice here is under the blood pressure column is that you might see some kind of really wildly out of target kinds of blood pressures. So if you think that you want to use this list for any kind of follow up, then uh, right off the bat, you can also start to notice that there's a few people here who maybe need the follow up sooner than somebody who has a perfectly normal blood pressure like 120 over 80. So that would be a very, very simple search. So I'm just going to close that. We'll just clear that out. And 